Hello everyone and welcome back to the loss of my sanity. <laughs> so now I gotta figure out this puzzle right here. Oh. Why didn't I just look up before? <laughs> well, that's that's probably the solution right there. Let's see here. It's yeah. A little bit touchy here. <laughs> Not as precise as I usually am in first person. And yeah, there we go. <laughs> and now this should activate the water flow for the other side of said thingy. Now, what's the point of this? Anyway, well, it stops that, but that's not exactly the point of it. The point of it is to reverse the water's direction. And, uh, oh wait, what? you're not supposed to freeze it, that's right, you're supposed to... I turn off one and turn on the other, my bad. Uh, I hope I didn't miss any fairies up to this point, because that would be kind of sucky if I have to go back here and reverse the water again. But I'm making good time, so it's not, like, super, super worrisome in terms of the in-game clock and whatnot. Because as I said, this is the, like, the third time I've played through the dungeon, so... I am a lot swifter than I used to be at this game because I simply have more knowledge on it, and yeah. Uh, well, aside from that hookshot target, that was abysmal of me not to look up. <laughs> anyway, let's move on here. And what that did was it reversed the direction of the water in that other room. You know, the, the, the way it's swirling. I should switch to this right away, by the way. Um, you know how the water was only letting me into certain rooms? Well, now it is going to let me into more than just a few. Well, more than just those few, but I'm also locked out of a couple- Oh, jeez! Ah, oh, poopers. But I'm also locked out of the rooms that I had access to before. Well, kind of, for the most part, because of the um, uh, water switchy switch. So, yeah. Right, let's try this again. <laughs> That was my own fault for being a little bit too hasty on the water. See, I can I can blame Majora's Mask for some things, but not all things. <laughs> I'm level-headed enough when playing this game to know that. <laughs> it's funny, he's kind of diving in the water there, but anyway. Now, if you go back to this room, the, the, everything's going to be turning the opposite way. And that's what we're looking for here, because now... We can go and explore other stuff, but hold on a sec first. I would like to um, uh, go all the way down to the bottom here, because I think I missed something in that pot there in the center. So I'm going to take a oxy over here. Yo! Yo! Yeah! <laughs> okay, let me try this. Okay, I'm just going to do it like this. Just wait like, till I go in front of the pot. There we go. Yeah, there's a fairy there. I forgot all about that. I just remembered that when I came back in here. Uh, yeah, I can't put on great fairy's mask underwater. There we go. <laughs> um, as long as I'm down here, I guess I could uh, flop down the fish valve here. Um, it's, it wouldn't be this one. It would have to be this one because that's the way the current. See the fish pointing in that direction? Yep. All right, new stuff. What's going to destroy me now? Oh, I should, not, not so much destroy me. As it is annoy me. <laughs> I guess. I guess when it comes to this game, they're one and the same for me. Uh, I'm gonna just gonna use this pipe to. Uh, no, wait, wait, wait. I'm not gonna. Not gonna play that game with Zora Link this time. I'm just gonna walk up it with regular old Link here. And oh, this is the boss room. I'm not really ready for this. <laughs> That's okay though. I can always go back. <laughs> In fact, I think there's more um, that I gotta do. Yeah, come to think of it, <laughs> I think there's two fairies in this room, though, if I recall correctly. But anyway, uh, that because there's no water coming here, that's yeah, that's why I need I did need to do more here because I need that water spout there to get up to a said boss room there. So yeah, anyway, that's okay. So maybe I'll just happily pass on by through here and oh, there's a fairy. I will grab that on my way out, because that is indeed the way out of this room. Okay. Let's go and go, and I'm... Oh no, oh no, I just noticed I'm saying let's again a lot. Oh no, it's... It's not gonna be good. 
I'm gonna go off here, and I'm gonna take a look around the room here, see if I'm missing anything. Uh, huh. Hmm. How about... Ah, okay, so there is something. How do I get that sucker, though? Can I shoot at it with an arrow? Probably. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not gonna, not gonna mess with that. <laughs> I think this is a good angle. Yeah, okay. Oh, I was like a pixel off. There we go. And now I will use the Greed Fairy Mask when I free... Well, actually, I don't have to. I can just use it now. Uh, go ahead and do that, and then I go like this, and then the fairy will come to me. By the way, that sparkliness uh, happens when there's a fairy in the area on the mask, so yeah. Okay. So I think I am good to go here, because I know that other fairy is right here, of which I'm going to shoot and free from a distance because I don't want to miss it on my way through here because that's a current and it will pull me away from said fairy. So let's be... Mm, so let's be very careful. There we go, I got it. Tenth one, good. And I guess I'm gonna have to go up. I'll go up to that level next, I think. Probably, maybe, might be. Don't do that multiple wall hit things or link there. That's pretty annoying. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no! Okay. <laughs> I hope I didn't miss anything in those pots, but well, I don't really think. Well, I might have. Maybe, but it was probably just magic for the, um, uh, the power of, you know, shielding those suckers to get through them. Because otherwise you'll be kind of stuck there, if you think about it. Come on, get out of here. Get, stop, fish. Stop fish. Eee. Ah. <laughs> Stop fish. No fish. Eee. Yeah, those are those spiky balls are mines. So they are. Oh! I didn't know you were still following me. Yeah, I just uh, I'll just go up a little bit, and I'm gonna go down a little bit, and I'm gonna zap you. How's that sound? Probably not good for you. In fact, you probably can't hear anymore because you're deader than dead. <laughs> wait, wait. Are you guys like constantly respawning? That's not nice. Well, anyway, let's see if I can get on here. No, no, I can't. <laughs> what I actually want to do here is go up here. Ah! I want to do it all fancy like. <laughs> Should stop trying to be fancy with my Zora swimming. Yeah. Okay, let's. Woo! Oh, oh, fine, I'll just use the platform. <laughs> What I want to do is break apart those barrels, which requires the power up. Can I just climb up like this? I really can. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I thought there might have been like a fairy or something in there, but that's okay. Uh, platform. Oh wait, you're here. Ah. Switch. Where do I need to go? Where do I need to go? Where do I need to go? Uh, probably on there. Oh wait, I know. I'm supposed to do this, increase that, and that stops the rotation and allows me to platform my way across. I'm not sure if that's temporary or not. <laughs> Hopefully it's not, because I'm kind of in a awkward position here. Mm, come on. Oh yeah, this also stops this platform as well. That's something I gotta time better than. <laughs> Let's try it again. Yep. Okay, the melt. Yeah, I don't think this melts on its own. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah, all right. Now that I know, I can go. And now we wait. I'm gonna probably go in the first person view and wait for it to stop. Like, that's good. I just wanna make sure that I can make the jump over to those platforms. Alright, ooh, where can I land that I'm guaranteed not to fall into the water on? I guess I could aim for that fan... Yo! Okay, we're good. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. I do have to say, um, with this experiment that I'm doing of replaying Majora's Mask, the game does... I mean, it is more fun to play the game when you know what you're doing, but it's... Not exactly, you know, a thing of that. It's it's not a very blind-friendly game. That's one of the game's main problems. So, yeah. Uh, I guess there wasn't really anything over here, was there? 
I was just there to be all fancy. <laughs> Actually, I think that's just a- Oh, jeez, don't dive. That was just an alternate way to get over here. By the way, it always seems like no matter how you stop that ice, these platforms will all be, always be in the right place. So you don't have to worry about uh, timing things, aside from the platforms that to go up and down all elevator-like. Uh, what is this? Isn't this a, like a switch? Yes, it is. And I'm pretty sure I have to freeze this. Yeet. Does this work? Uh, how do I get this thing to freeze? I forgot. Eh. <laughs> well, let's explore the room first. Hello, green chew. Give me your magic. Mmm, delicious magic. Hello, yellow chew. Give me your arrows. Mmm, delicious arrows. Yeah, they're all color-coded, too, what they can contain. The green ones contain magic, the red ones contain hearts. Ah! Red ones contain hearts, yellow ones contain arrows, and blue ones don't seem to have anything. I could roll into these crates, I know, to break them, but it's faster doing it this way. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I heard Gong Gong. Uh, gong Gong is coming. Oh, wait. How did I take that off? There's crates coming up ahead. <laughs> Not ready to take this off yet. I like how the, I like how the pot that, like doesn't break when it hits the ground when you um, break, the, break apart the crates. It just flops on the ground without any effect whatsoever. And Oh, yeah. I can't kill you as a Goron. I already showed that. In a previous part. Alright, let's try this here. Yeah, that was a total fail. But yeah, I forgot how to do this. Guess I will soon find out. Yep. Hmm. Hmm. Is oh, okay. Now I remember. You gotta unfreeze the water up here on the ceiling. There we go. And what that does is it pushes it down, so you don't necessarily freeze it. It just weighs it just weighs it down. I'll do the same with the other one right away as long as I have a nice vantage point at it. Okay. Uh, now, if this doesn't stay up when I walk across it, um, that mm -mm, <laughs> I will probably have to freeze it. Oh, okay, maybe I will have to freeze this after all. Hmm. Because it doesn't seem to be like I can get. Oh, I was supposed to stand on it before uh, unfreezing the water. Oh, okay, so I didn't know how to solve the puzzle. Now I know how to solve the puzzle. <laughs> okay, dawn of the second day, 48 hours remain. And I am nearly done with this dungeon, actually. <laughs> That's another thing that makes Majora's Mask, I guess you could say, more fun, even though it's a very flawed game, is that... Um, when you're playing this game blind and you don't really know what to do, that clock puts a lot of pressure on you to do your thing, and that, that always gave me the willies, and that's kind of something that I had issues with, with, um, oh, this is back at the, uh, um, uh, where I got the dungeon map, but, uh, yeah, that's one of the issues that I had with Majora's Mask and the first Pikmin game, actually, believe it or not, was that I had, uh, like the gameplay, because it had the clock, it gave me a lot of anxiety while playing it, so it's not like, oops, I already had the right arrows out. So it kind of gave me a really bad first impression, which is yet another reason why I'm replaying it as per ye olde experiment that I'm doing here. There's a lot going on regarding this experimental replay of the game, so yeah, I gotta read ye olde Tumblr post if you're interested in uh, what I'm doing here. Hmm. Man, there's a lot of stuff to unfreeze in this place, isn't there? <laughs> Alright, I think this one is associated with this one. I want to get up to that treasure chest, I mean, get over to the treasure chests. Because as you see on the map, there's a thing, of yeah, at that corner. Now I can make this floor of water go, go, go. Oh, what? 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 I thought I was pushing that. I am pushing that. <laughs> This game and its glitchiness is ridiculous. I don't feel like switching arrows. <laughs> I should have switched arrows, but I didn't feel like switching arrows. I think I'm gonna have to use Zora because he's taller to get up here. And then we follow the path over to. No, no I don't want to go. Can I get up. Yeah, I can get behind here. I know how to get up here regardless. Oh yeah, okay. I can use the hook shot to shimmy my way over there. 
So, blah blah, blah blah, blah blah blah, blah blah blah. There we go. I'm being weird. It's a fairy. <laughs> it's 11. Where am I missing four? Because I'm really close to the end of the dungeon. As you'll see right here, I've been, uh, oh, there's a couple of chests I missed in, uh, an upcoming room. So, yeah. It actually, um, uh, hmm, hmm. Anyway, I got this chest, so I guess I can bloop right down. I don't think there is anything more over there. So, as for this... Yeah, freaking right, 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 right. Menu screens. <laughs> it's almost as bad as... Oops. It's almost as bad as loading screens. Get out of here. <laughs> as the, having to switch items is kind of a annoyance to Ocarina of Time 2, especially in the Water Temple, uh, because of the whole Iron Boots switch fiasco. But it's not... I don't think you have to switch items nearly as much in that place as you do in, uh, uh, as you do in Dungeons and Majora's Mask, though. Uh, at least I don't think. I'm more experienced in Ocarina of Time, though, so I, you know, I have more knowledge on it. But yeah, wait, hold on a sec. This is the wrong door. <laughs> oh, it was the door that I came through. Hmm, you know, the one that had the, the chests that I miss? Yeah, they, those. Okay, let's go back over here. <laughs> I solved the puzzle, and I didn't need to solve the puzzle. I should say I solved the puzzle for a, a second time. <laughs> there we go. And... Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Mm. Yeah. No, 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 don't, don't, don't go down. Okay, good. <laughs> and over here. Now, where did I miss treasure chests? Were they all underwater or something? Well, now we go! <laughs> oh, they're on that? They're on uh, the top part of it, because they just disappeared when I uh, did my thing there. Oh, water. Okay, so I gotta start from the beginning here, onto this side, I guess. Maybe I missed it, like maybe I was supposed to use the Lens of Truth or something. Because I'm pretty sure there's something in this dungeon that requires said Lens of Truth. So I guess we'll... Uh, See. Alright. Plop that there. Let's take a look, see around. Hmm. Just looking on the, all the high spots here. Hmm. Hmm. Is that. Well, how do I reach that? <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Well, there's two chests in this room, so maybe there's a, a solution to, or, Oh! That's connected to the other high platform, isn't it? Well, maybe. No, I don't think so. Yeah! I'm just gonna jump over here. <laughs> and see... What is up there? That might be a return trip, actually. You know, a return path. But I could be wrong about that. Hmm... Hmm... Uncorking the water might give me some movement, I guess. Perhaps, maybe. Near first, let's get over here just in case. I'm gonna try and uncork the water with fire arrows and see if we can get something that'll let me up top. <laughs> okay, so that platform just goes left and right. So that's not very helpful. <laughs> hmm. Maybe I can get, you know, get to that hole from that platform. Maybe. Perhaps. I guess I'll only know if I try. <laughs> just gotta wait until uh, that platform is high. Oh wait, actually I gotta restart with this from the, uh, the beginning here because that, I gotta be on top of that platform because I can't jump from it I jumped to it from below. I'm gonna get nibbled on. Because <laughs> I didn't I didn't have the Zoras, you know, the Zora mask on there before I jumped in, so that was my own fault. I knew they were there. But I was just being impatient. Okay, let's try it again. And see if I can reach that hole this time. Maybe if I am a Zora, I'll have enough 
running room to reach that. I should say enough jumping range, perhaps, maybe. Yeah, oh, that failed completely. <laughs> hmm. I wonder how do I get in there? But anyway, there's another chest in this room to grab somewhere. So let's try and figure out how to get that, I guess, before I knock ye all parts. And I need this. Yep. Yep. And the yup. So about that other chest. Where is that other chest in relation to the room's layouts? That is the question. By the way, um, I have never 100%ed this dungeon before. I should tell you that now, but I will manage to do it before time runs out, I'm sure. At the very least, I could look up a guide or something. Um, if I'm that, uh, if I'm that pressured for time or something like that. Um, you know, by the time uh, if I should fail to get the stuff before time runs out. Because, you know, I can always cut and stuff like that if things go awry. And, oh, this is... this platform is kind of low. Okay, we're good. <laughs> it works! Because these all... oh! <laughs> this, this game. Because those always appear at relatively the same spots. Okay, now, the chest that I'm looking for is apparently on this side. Am I missing something with the lens of truth here? Or is it or is it underneath uh, whatever's here? Because that could be very well possible. Uh, let's take a look. Ah, I can't get a good angle here. <laughs> yeah, I know I have the lens of truth going on here. But, huh. Maybe I'm supposed to kill all the critters before something will appear over here. Because this is where it would be appearing, if it was to appear. <clears throat> hmm. But don't the critters in this room keep spawning? <laughs> Maybe I'm supposed to destroy all the, the mines. That, that could be a thing. How many more? How many more? Let's destroy the mines with our body! Yeah! <laughs> it doesn't do that much damage. That's why I'm messing around. Hmm. 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 Yeah, I think you're new, so I'm pretty sure you guys do indeed just keep respawning. Unless I'm missing a switch or something here. Here. Ah. Destroy the mines! Destroy the mines! Oh, come on. <laughs> One time I try to have fun with Majora's Mask, and it fails me. Yeah, they just keep spawning, so it mustn't be. It mustn't have to do with them. Hey, wait. <clears throat> Didn't I see a torch off to the side? Oh... Oh, alcove. i never seen that before, okay. Well, now I know how to get to it. Gotta use ye ol' ice arrows. I guess that's why they gave you ample um, ice arrows here, because of said magic strain, I guess, of the whole room. There you go. Apparently, if you shoot too, at too shallow an angle, that will, uh, it'll fail me. <laughs> you know, I'm just gonna try and start angling myself to said, whoa! Oh, maybe I can't actually reach it from down here. That might be too, too large of a jump. Okay, well, how do I get to that then? From the green pipe and jump down? That seems like a viable possibility. So let me get myself up there again. First I'm gonna... Yeah! This time I'm not gonna be lazy. <laughs> really? I would explain why this pipe is here if you can actually walk on this pipe. But I don't think you can actually walk on this pipe. Mmm! <laughs> How now, brown cow? I can't, like, jump from it. So there, and that platform is way too far away. There's no Deku flower for me to use that I can tell. Mmm. What if I get the water running again? Will that help my troubles? Perhaps. Because maybe there's a like a platform or something that pops in and out of here that I didn't notice before. Or maybe I'm supposed to use a fan blade to jump across, but I, I would really doubt that. 
like maybe one of those fan blades and then jump diagonally, but I don't think so. That seems a little far-fetched. And I'm not talking the Pokemon. <laughs> but I will use this platform to see what I can do because... Ah! Because this platform may very well be here for a reason. Maybe... I can hookshot onto that torch. Because that's a wooden torch, not one of those regular... Oh, I can hookshot onto the chest. Can I? How about the torch? Can I do the torch? Oh yeah! Puzzle solved! This is a fairy. It better be a fairy. It's a fairy. <laughs> Alright. So there's that. Now for that room up there. Uh, does it have any connection to any other room? I don't think it does. Really, I think it... Hmm, wait. Is that? Hmm... Let me go back through... Oh yeah, that's right, the wrong, that's the wrong waterfall. <laughs> I want to go back to the other room and, uh... Sort of kind of... Yeah. See if there's maybe an alternate way to get up here, maybe? Because that... Because see, it like cuts off underneath or above whatever thingy that hallway is. And that, you know, it's above the hallway and yeah, I don't know if this is a possible jump, too. <laughs> Not when the Zora does that. <laughs> you know what I should do? I think I am going to end off the part here because I am close to finishing this thing and I didn't realize how long I was recording this particular part. So yeah, I'll figure that out in the next part. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you then.